Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and welcome to my first impression video of the Extreme 200R. I know you guys are waiting for my first ride review and that will happen as soon as the bike arrives here in Hyderabad. But for now, I thought I'll share my first impressions as to where this bike fits in and as to where it is primarily targeted at because when we look at the spec sheet, the power figures are quite modest when compared to other 200cc bikes currently available in our market. The RTR 200 puts out 20.5 PS or 21 PS depending on the carb or the FI variant. Similarly, the Pulsar 200 NS puts out 23.5 PS of max power but when we look at the Extreme 200, the bike puts out 18.4 PS of max power and 17.1 newton meters of max torque and we get a 5 speed gearbox so it isn't something that's all that interesting at least going by the numbers on the paper now i'm leaving the duke 200 out of this because i feel it's a different breed altogether it is a class apart in terms of the performance and the incredible power to weight ratio it has on offer so now getting back to the extreme 200r this bike debuted as a concept at the 2016 auto expo and hero motocorp have taken their own sweet time to bring out the production unit well now finally the wait is over although the prices haven't been officially announced yet i'm hoping that hero would price it on par with the 160 cc or 180 cc bikes in our market such that the extreme 200r comes across as a superb value for money proposition wherein people can buy a higher capacity 200 cc bike with abs at the price of a 160 cc bike or a 180 cc bike However, we just need to wait and see as to what the pricing would be. As of now, yes, the Xtreme 200R does get single channel ABS as an option, which means ABS is operational only on the front wheel. We do get a 220mm rear disc as well though. The front disc is a 276mm unit, which is bigger than the 270mm front disc on the RTR 200. So now quickly comparing the Xtreme 200R with the RTR 200, the RTR 200 does get best in class 240mm rear disc we get dual channel aps variant as an option for the rtr and the standard race edition 2.0 model also gets slipper clutch which works as a back torque limiting system which allows for faster downshifts without running the risk of the rear wheel hopping or locking also please note that the rtr 200 gets petal discs at both ends whereas the extreme 200 gets conventional discs and the advantage of having petal discs on board is that it offers better heat dissipation now comparing the pulsar 200 ns with with the Extreme 200R, the Pulsar offers best-in-class top-end performance because it gets an additional 6th gear whereas the RTR 200 and the Extreme 200R both of them get only a 5-speed gearbox. Also the 200NS single channel ABS sports a best in class 300mm front disc when compared to the 270mm front disc of the RTR 200 or the 276mm front disc of the Xtreme 200. Now, this means the larger disc on the Pulsar offers better braking performance. The tyre sizes are similar for all three bikes with all of them getting a 130x70 tyre at the back. However, for the RTR 200, we do have the option of going with Pirelli tyres which is great. Also weighing in at 148 kgs for the single channel ABS variant, the Xtreme 200 is just 1 kg lighter than the RTR 200 and around 6 kgs lighter than the Pulsar 200 NS ABS variant. Now this means the Xtreme 200 does enjoy the weight advantage and if the engine has been tuned well, the bike would definitely end up being a fun to ride motorcycle with good low to mid range torque. The Xtreme 200R also offers the shortest wheelbase among its rivals at 1338mm which would render the bike easily flickable in city traffic and would also help the bike tackle corners much more easily. However, the flip side to this is that the high speed stability might take a hit so it will be interesting to see as to how the bike fares at higher speeds on the highways. With a seat height of 795mm, the Xtreme 200R offers a saddle that should be comfortable for riders of all sizes at least up to 6 feet tall. The Xtreme 200R also offers good amount of ground clearance at 165mm which is more than sufficient to clear the speed breakers in the city. Also unlike the Pulsar and the RTR 200 which do not get a kickstarter, the Xtreme 200R seems to be the only bike in the 200cc category here in India to offer a kickstarter which is always good to have on board should the battery run out. 
Talking about the Extreme 200 hours design, the overall silhouette looks and feels similar to that of the Extreme Sports 150cc bike. The wolf eyed headlamp along with the LED pilot lamps look quite cool, but because it resembles the Extreme Sports model greatly, it doesn't look as radical or as aggressive as that of the RTR 200 or the Pulsar 200 NS. The alloy wheel design again resembles that of the RTR 200 and the Honda Hornet. The rear panels are neatly laid out. The paint finish along with the body graphics would appeal to the younger audience more in my opinion. The tail lamp again is similar to the one found on the Extreme Sports 150 but it does go well with the rest of the design of this bike. I love the way the single piece seat has been laid out. The foam seems to be of premium quality and there seems to be adequate room for the rider as well as the pillion which is good. The huge tank shrouds remind us of the RTR 180 and I hope they serve the purpose like they do on the RTR of keeping the engine temperature down because the Xtreme 200 neither gets liquid cooling nor does it get oil cooling. The engine is air cooled so it will be interesting to see as to how the bike copes up in city traffic when it comes to the engine heating issues. I'm hoping that Hero would have worked on heat management for this bike. The speedo again is kind of a letdown because it isn't as good or as premium looking as the fully digital unit on the RTR 200. We get a part analog, part digital layout, we get an analog tachometer, whereas the digital readouts include the speedometer, odometer, trip meters, fuel gauge, clock and a service reminder. Looking at the chassis, the Xtreme 200R boasts of a lightweight yet sturdy frame which I believe contributes to its overall reduced weight compared to its rivals. With the shorter wheelbase, I'm sure that the bike would be easy to flick around in city traffic. The bike also gets 37mm front forks just like its rivals the RTR 200 and the Pulsar 200 NS which means the bike would be offering a good front end feel and better cushioning while riding over the pothole ridden city streets. At the back we get a 7 step adjustable mono shock and please note that after the Hero Impulse this is just the second bike in the entire Hero Motocorp fleet to get a mono shock. A mono shock at the back works towards the mass centralization concept and lends the bike much better handling characteristics. Talking about the brakes, as mentioned before, we get a 276mm disc up front and a 220mm disc at the back. Please note that we get single channel ABS as an option here and it will be really interesting to see as to how aggressively Hero priced the ABS variant. Talking about the tires, we get 17 inch wheels at both ends, we get a 100 by 80 tire up front and a 130 by 70 tire at the back. The wider 130 section rear tire is a radial tire with carefully engineered precision rounded profile and is made up of special tire compound to offer superb road grip on the tarmac. The angular tread pattern is designed to offer superb traction and better water channeling capabilities such that the bike offers good road grip even on wet surfaces. Tank capacity is 12.5 litres which is slightly better than the 12 litre tanks of the RTR 200 and the Pulsar 200 NS because this would result in a better tank range. Mileage wise, because Hero Motocorp is known for churning out mileage champions like the Glamour, the Splendor and the Passion, I'm hoping that the Extreme 200R would offer a mileage of anywhere around 35 to 40 kmpl. So I guess that's about it. This wraps up my first impression video of the Extreme 200R. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao, take care. God bless and ride safe.